Hey guys, so in classic Rosie style, I didn't introduce this video properly at all. So this video is, like I'm quite scared to put this video out because there is just so much stuff in this room. But this is basically what happened when I moved home from uni and had all of my stuff in these two rooms, which I'm turning into like my studio. And then there's like a little dining room that I get to make look nice. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually taken quite a few weeks to get the room to this level. Lots of sorting through bags, just getting rid of stuff, um, building Ikea things. <laughs> yeah, this video is just working on my studio and trying to get that to a better place. And then the next video you guys see will probably be about the other room. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I think there's a bit of me talking at the start of this video. It just didn't really make sense what I was doing. Um, so now you guys know. If you're confused, just ask me. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So we're working on the downstairs room today, which is a big mission that we've been putting off a lot. Because it used to be my mum's sewing room and sort of the dumping ground for everything. Now we are turning it into my studio and my sort of living area for me and my siblings to have. So yeah, it's quite a mess at the moment and it's gonna take a lot of strength to get through it. But it'll get done. And I'm wearing a jumper today, I don't know why. It's so hot. <laughs> Keep going hot and cold and hot and cold. I also do this a lot. I don't know if you guys do this. Just have one arm out. It's so weird I always do this. I think it's maybe a ginger thing, is that we have problems with regulating our heat. <laughs> I've also got loads of hangers arriving today so I can finally sort out my wardrobes. And they are also just all in boxes downstairs, so that'll be good to get those out. And in... Okay, I'm too hot again. This is the next level of too hot. <laughs> and then it comes off. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs and start moving stuff out of the sewing room and start making it into my studio. So this is now all needing to be sorted through because it's all my old work or like homeware bits and clothes that have come back from uni. Just so much stuff. This is the big pile and then there's also more stuff from uni over here.
made quite a bit of progress this morning, which is good. We've managed to get most of the stuff out of the room that's not meant to be in here. And now I'm just kind of sorting through everything. But right now I am popping out to go and try and re-register my old doctor surgery, all the fun stuff. And we've also got a load of stuff for the charity shop, so do that at the same time. And oh yeah, I was meant to find, we have to have like a letter that's proof of living here for three months. And I need to try and find something. I feel so smart in my jacket. <laughs> This is gonna be tricky. I hate it when you have to find a letter that's proof of living somewhere because I never get sent letters. And I always opt out of the bank slips being sent to me because I want them all paperless, so I don't use paper, so it's real annoying. Okay, this is the state of the room today. <laughs> But I have kind of made a bit of progress, it just doesn't look like it. There's stuff that needs to be put on the rails, but I've run out of hangers. Got a new desk yesterday, it's exactly the same as this one, so that I can do pattern cutting, because my roll is huge, and um, it would just be so easy to have a massive table to do lots of creative things. <laughs> And then I brought this down from upstairs, which was just on the landing with loads of random bags. Um, so I'm going to put my Vogue collection on this and whatever else is lying around. <laughs> and then I need to sort the rest of this room out, which is kind of just empty bags now. I have a massive pile of toiles, um, which is just... I have no use for them anymore, so I'm going to take them to a fabric recycling place and recycle those. Also got that rug yesterday in Ikea for in here, so that will go here <laughs> in the end. And we're going to get a little like secondhand sofa to go across here, probably moving that, probably moving these things out of here, and need the good old tidy and sort out. I kind of want to make a little curtain or something to cover this over because I was just going to get all of the same big boxes but Ikea just don't really seem to do them every time I go in. Um, so yeah, I think I might just make a nice little linen um, thing to go over there. Um, and yeah, we shall see. Here's my collection of Vogue's. And I now need to move them all into the other room. The bookcase is all sorted now, which I'm very relieved about because I'd never really had very good storage for keeping all my magazines and they're very heavy so they bend lots of stuff. I had the Billy bookcase from Ikea before and it just bent it. <laughs> yeah, I just used an old storage thing that we had and then it doesn't really matter if it bends it too much but it shouldn't bend it, hopefully. But yeah, that is just sitting over there nicely now. So now I am going to build the second desk from Ikea and then that'll be up and I can relax. <sighs>
going to try and put this pile of twirls in some bags so they're a bit easier to carry away. So I'm going to do that. I'm very hot because it's very hot in here. I also found some more books which I was really not very happy about <laughs> but I've managed to find a place for them. They've gone like on the trestle legs down there. I'll show you. So yeah, there's books down there now. This stuff all over here obviously still needs to be sorted. I'm going to make a new cover for this piano because I really don't. This was a very quick job. And the piano is not going here. And then, and yeah, more books there. Got all my folders out and more magazines in those boxes. And I really want to roll out this carpet to into this space so we can start properly seeing where things are going to go. I'm going to work on these twirls and getting these out of here first. And then this space needs a good hoover. Carpet is down. <laughs> Still so much to sort out in here. Got this whole wall to sort out. Uh, this carpet is going in the other room. So yeah, I'm going to make a neutral cover for this. And then uh, probably a little skirt that just goes all the way around to hide the legs. And then I've put my big wicker chair next to it for now. Don't know if that's going to stay there my wicker boxes. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today and I'm gonna go and work on my room for a bit <laughs> because there is also so much stuff going into my room. So that needs a good old sort out too. <laughs> so anyway, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm next working on this room. So it's been quite a while since I've filmed anything in this room and there are quite a few changes since the last time I was filming. I think, was I putting the carpet down? I think that was the last bit. But since then we've got two new pieces of furniture and I've done some bits to cover up some ugly furniture. <laughs> so I'll show you guys those. But first we decided on a sofa. Um, so I actually have footage of me building that. So I'll put a little bit of that in now. We lay it out there.
so that's me building so far. It's now up, I'm looking at it now. And I love it so much. It's actually so comfortable. I was really worried it was going to be quite hard. It's not like the softest looking sofa, but it's actually really comfortable. And then the other piece of furniture we got is from a charity shop. Um, charity shops often do like furniture shops as well. So this one was from the Salvation Army, I think. I always think it's nice to at least try and look in those sort of shops for your furniture um, instead of just buying new all the time. And also they add so much to a room like this is my favorite piece in this whole room now i think it was about 60 pounds um but i'll show you that and i'll show you the sofa so this is the cabinet we found at the salvation army and i've sort of dressed it with blue and white inside and then a little bit of wire and then books at the bottom it does have whoa it does have one broken pane but it's right down the bottom, so it's fine. And I've just got this little like wicker basket which needs sorting out because there's just too many throws in there. So yeah, that is what's in there. And I've got like blogger stuff up there, um, like new makeup and skincare. And then I've got like desk stuff, more desk stuff, sewing, sewing, <laughs> sewing, sewing, and then like little random notepads and things. And then, this is what the sofa looks like. Oh my god. I love it so much. It's quite ironic because um, it's made out of calico and I kind of hated calico after doing fashion design because this is what you do all your mock-ups in but I feel like it's quite funny that I've gone for a calico sofa. But I wanted something neutral that wasn't like breaking the bank at the same time. So this sofa was 330, which is still a lot of money, but for a sofa, it's not too bad. This is what it looks like on the IKEA website. You can buy it without the footstool, but um, just sort of be good for storage. And I also think it just breaks up the room nicely. So yeah, those are the new additions to the room. And this room is pretty much almost done. There's just some stuff over there that needs sorting out. This stuff is all going on to Depop. Not sure about the pillow, that's just been put there. <laughs> but my Depop account is linked below if you guys wanna follow me on that. Then the other day I made some skirts out of my favorite curtain fabric. Oh, it's so pretty. These are from Ikea, these curtains. Um, but I just chopped them down to size. And then this is the main thing I wanted to get done that I had been putting off for so long. We basically have these storage cabinets that we were given for free, which is so great at storing things, but are pretty ugly. So I bought some little netting rods from Ikea and then just um, stitched like two channels um, and gathered it all up. And then I just drilled on these, these little brackets that just hold it up and then you can just pop it out to get the top down. And yeah, really happy with how that looks. It makes the room look so much better. So still to go, I need to do all the little bits like putting up um, cork boards. And I have this long rail, picture rail from Ikea that was gonna go in the other room, but I think it might go like above my desk. I also need to sort my desk out a bit because that's also a bit of a mesh. <laughs> but yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna get in this video, I think. Look at the floor space compared to how it started off. <laughs> this room has just taken so much energy to sort through and get how I want it. Um, still not how I want it just yet, but I don't think it's going to take too long to completely finish. And then I can start being creative again, have my own creative space. I've been feeling so down recently, um, and I think it's because this, like, I'm just a mess. In When I'm a mess, when my space is a mess, my head is a mess, so, yeah. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. The next video is going to be me tackling the room next door, um, which 
is actually quite an exciting video because that room came together so much quicker than this one did. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.